Okay, hey y'all, this is Sam, the Frugal Hoobah Gardener. I'm in front of one of my blue java plants, and I'm going to go ahead and separate a pup or a couple pups. We'll see what happens when I dig down in there. So this is how you separate a blue java pup or any pup or sucker from a banana plant. So here we go. Okay, I like using a four prong just to pull all the chips and compost away from the plant. Okay, so now that I removed some of the chips, I'm gonna go ahead with this little tool right here. It's a chopper. It's, it's designed to cut. It's also a scraper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in behind the blue java and slice it. But before you do that, what you wanna do is you wanna remove the soil so you can see the corm down below. Because if you just reach in behind and slice, you can miss the root and you can slice the corm and your pup will not survive. So here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. And you notice I'm pulling away. So the roots, I'm going between the roots and not sideways. Okay, so now I'm going to take a shovel and I'm going to go under the corn and remove some so I can see where it's connected. Okay, so pretty much I think that's got it. So now I'm going to clean up the area. Okay, so right down in here you can see that now I can see the bottom of the corn goes in. The bottom of that corn, the bottom of that corn are all coming out of the parent plant and I can see the roots so now I could cut it safely so let's go ahead and do that okay so what I'm gonna do is I can see under the corn I can see where the corn attaches to the parent plant so now I lower the camera I'm gonna give you a close-up I'm not gonna use this chopper because it has this piece of wood here and it'll cut it'll, since it's a tight fit it'll cut so I have this chopper here, which is flat on both sides. But what you want to do is before you do that, I already have it mixed, but I got some fungicide in here. You can see the color's blue. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this just to sterilize it like that and now I'm going to go ahead and cut because I don't want any disease to set in so let me put this away okay so now I'm going to take this I'm going to reach right down in here real close like this a tight fit and I'm going to go ahead and try to separate it Okay, so now I have a little mallet. I'm 
I'm going to put that behind the corn right down in here. Hopefully I'm angled correctly and I'm going to tap it. Okay, now I'm going to move over to this other one right here since they're so close and I'm going to tap it. Okay, just that little bit so they're loose because I don't want to cut into the parent plant. So let's see if that worked, Danny. Okay, got my fingers crossed. Okay, even by doing it that way, I got one little root on this one, which is good. And this one over here is bigger. I got more roots on it, which is good. Now I want to come over here and separate this one right over here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get this right in here. Fingers crossed. Okay. I got some roots on this, so that's good. And I've been, I was real careful. If I would have done that without looking, I would have never got that. So that's looking good. Okay. So right up in here, clean this up. You can see where I went down flush and flush and there's water coming out. So what I want to do is I want to clean that up. Okay, so once again, I got some fungicide over here. I'm going to dip it like this. Get some on here. And I'm going to take the fungicide. And then I'm going to put that over the area that I just cut, like that, on both sides. Put a little bit on here in the, in the top. I'm going to drip it on there like that. A little bit in here like that. And I'm going to put that on there. Whoop, missed. Okay, so now I got fungicide on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that in because you don't want any disease to sit in there. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. I'm going to backfill it.
Okay, I didn't want to take this one because there's a little pup right next to it there, so I left that, let them get a little bigger. Okay. Put some chips back. I'll have to go get some more. Okay, so now I backfilled that and I got the fungicide on it. So let's go over there and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I want to do with these, once again, I got the fungicide over here. I want to clean these up. Okay, so to clean them up, okay, I'm going to hose all this off right here, get it clean, clean these up right here. Okay. I got this corn clean. Got that corn clean. Okay, I got this corn clean. Let me shut this. Okay. I think I'm going to have to sharpen my uh, chopper a little bit because I got a little bit of the corn. But here's some roots right now with a little bit of corn. I could probably try to, to put that in the ground and grow it. But right here... What I'm going to do now is transplant those. So let me go get my pots. Okay, so here I am in front of some pots. So let me go ahead and put these down in there. So I'm going to go ahead and dig me a little hole. Make sure it's deep enough. Okay, you see the root on it, so I'm going to put it, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in, put that root down in there, and I'm going to backfill it. Okay, so I almost forgot what I want to do is I want to take this rag, dip it, and put the fungicide all over it like that where I just cut, just like that. I'm going to do all of them. Okay. I'm 
Okay, so now I got fungicide on them. Now they're ready to plant. So with the root down, I'm going to put this in there to a depth that I want. And I'm going to backfill it. Okay, I'm going to pack it in a little bit, just like any other plant, smooth it out. Okay, that one's planted. So let's go ahead and do this next one. I'm going to go ahead and dig a little hole. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to try to get it to the depth I want. Make sure I got this root down. And I'm going to backfill it. Okay, last one right over here. Okay, now I'm going to take this with the roots down. And I'm going to go ahead and backfill it. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in there and I'm going to put chips on top and those are hopefully going to take and root, time will tell. Meanwhile, well, I have this root with a little bit of corm over here. Now, normally I would not do this, but I'm going to do an experiment. I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to go ahead and soak it in that.
said, okay. Now I'm going to take this. Hopefully, hopefully you can see this here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to plant it right down in here, root down. Gonna get that root really deep, and I'm gonna go ahead and plant it. Just like that. There's a 50-50 chance that will grow, more than likely not, but hey, let's give it an experiment. Okay, so let's go over there and put some chips in there and water them down. Okay, so I'm in front of a chip pile. I'm gonna put chips on top. That'll keep the moisture in and that'll keep the weeds from growing. Okay, so as you can see, I put a bunch of chips on them. Now I'm going to water them down till the water comes up and comes out the bottom because I want them saturated. Okay, so I got well water going. I'm just going to go ahead and fill these up. I like using well water. It's natural. Rinse off the plants. Okay, so now I'm going to take these and put them next to my ice cream banana. So it'll be ice cream and blue java side by side. Even though blue java is known as an ice cream banana plant, I got two different varieties. Um, so when I put these back, I'm going to do a part two to the video. The next part, part two, is going to be I'm going to take out my grinder and sharpen my blade, my chopper that I cut with. And I'm going to go ahead and separate some more. So this is the Frugal Hugo Gardener. I hope you enjoyed watching me separate some pups from my blue java plant. I showed you how I go ahead and use fungicide to protect the parent plant. And the pups showed you how I plant, um, how I planted them. Now they're planted in composted horse manure. So and with a little bit of sand in there and that's what they're in and they should take and root really nicely so if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of them you have to show me your love give me a like subscribe come on over to my facebook page and say hi i got a facebook group sunshine harvest edibles gardening group sign up become a member um you'll see me and a, a couple other close members on there all the time posting and you should enjoy it it's free so why not so with that said, talk to you soon.